All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Breaking news. Ime Adoka hired by the Houston Rockets. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it from the Rockets side. I love this for them. I think that he's exactly what they need. They need discipline. They need structure. They need someone with gravitas who can talk to these young players. Uh, if you're a Rockets fan, you've watched them for the past two seasons. You're not sure what Jalen Green is going to be. You're not sure what Jabari Smith is after his rookie season. Sagoon has showed uh, some baby Joker vibes. Uh, Porter Jr. has been a train wreck, in my personal opinion. It's just a team that's going in a bunch of different directions. He brings them structure. He brings them discipline. He's someone that can show, hey, I've been to the finals. Uh, I have been credited to a man by every Boston player for the reason for the turnaround, bringing them toughness, bringing them a defensive structure, making them trust in one another. I think that's what's needed in Houston. Uh, you have James Harden possibly looming. Um, as a free agent addition, uh, you have a possibility to get uh, a high draft pick. Knock on wood, hopefully it's uh, Victor Wimbiana. Then The Rockets would be definitely in for business, and you would need a veteran coach, a stern hand to kind of get these young guys in structure. And I think definitely Emo Odoka does this. Now, in bigger picture, this is kind of a surprise because a lot of people theorize that this was Nick Nurse's job. Nick Nurse had left the Raptors. A uh, talented coach, maybe possibly the best coach in the NBA for my money. And he had left the Raptors. Uh, there have been rumors for months that he would go to the Rockets. But what I'm guessing is the rumors were that they were going to clean house completely in Houston. And Raphael Stone, their GM, made this hire. So maybe Nick Nurse didn't get the full power that he wanted to hire a GM with him. So uh, he chose instead to, you know, look for other options. And they went with Emi Adoka. I think with Nick Nurse, you potentially look for a situation like Detroit. Uh, you know, they're a very talented team as well. Not too far away from Toronto, where he was uh, the head coach for several years. Uh, and maybe that's a place where he can get more control if that was the sticking point. Back to Adoka. This is big for Adoka, big Nigerian population. In Houston, I think the biggest in the country. So there's going to be a lot of support uh, from the community. I think there's going to be a lot of buzz uh, with him and possibly Harden returning. I think Harden is definitely going to come back. Uh, you know, these rumors, I don't think they're coming from nowhere. I see this as a Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James situation where you know that's where they want to go. Kevin Durant, you know that's where they want to go. Um, they need some steady stewardship. Again, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. has been a mess. Uh, he's shown that he's moved into a different phase in his career, wants to be a ball handler, so it makes a lot of sense for Houston. So I love this hire for Houston. I love the the way that they're going. I think they needed some toughness. They needed some structure. He provides that. He's not a disciplinarian. I think he's someone that the players can relate to, but he, you know, he brings the best out of you. And I think that's what's sorely lacking in coaching nowadays. Play, someone that can actually talk to the players. To a man, uh, Boston players said that he was their favorite coach and they enjoyed him and he was the reason for their turnaround. I think he can do similar things with Houston. All right, so let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, subscribe. And as always, the game is the game.